Well, I think, unfortunately, we're in a position where the Prime Minister has become so entrenched in her position on this that she's actually the blockage. And therefore, I'm of the view, I've been of the view for some time now, that she needs to lay out uh, the timetable for her departure, where she steps down, and that needs to be sooner rather than later, so that we can find a new leader who can bring a fresh approach to this. And yet, if she goes, somebody else comes in, the numbers are just the same over there. Well, I think the numbers might change a bit. But most importantly, uh, it would bring a fresh approach, a, a new leader, a fresh team. With elections in the EU, there'll be a fresh team negotiating from their side. And I think what's happened is both the EU and the Prime Minister and her team have become so entrenched in their positions. And let's uh, remember, the, the biggest issue is the backstop. And of course, the EU just keep throwing back and saying, well, the backstop was the Prime Minister's idea. And we need to change that dynamic. And I believe a new leader will have the opportunity to do that. At what point, in your view, would it be legitimate for people to conclude that that place over there, over your shoulder, is completely stuck in a logjam and the only solution is either a general election, where parties have to promise what they're going to do on Brexit and try and win a mandate for it, or another referendum? Well, I'm not sure a general election would change much. If you look at the polls, we'd probably be pretty much where we are now, a hung parliament with some coalition needing to be cobbled together. And I don't think it would bring any more clarity to it. But let's also remember, both the main parties are equally divided down the middle as parliament is. So I'm not sure a general election will solve it. And I think, personally, we've got a referendum a week on Thursday in the EU elections will be a very clear message from the British people and is, as the polls suggest, the Brexit party do very well and win that election, I think that gives a very clear message as to what the British people want. Sounds like you're advocating a vote for a rival to the Conservatives. Well, of course, I would always want people to vote Conservative, but I absolutely understand why people feel frustrated, betrayed, angry, whatever word you want to use, and therefore want to send a very clear message to Parliament, uh, not just to the Conservative Party, but to Parliament in general, that they want us to get on and deliver Brexit. Very briefly, are you uh, enthusiastically campaigning for the Conservative of course in these European elections. Uh, it sounds like you might not be. Uh, I have to say I am focused on other things at the moment. Uh, I, I campaigned in other places for the local elections. We didn't have local elections and uh, I don't think I'll be doing too much towards the, the, the elections. Let's put it that way. A candid answer. Thank you. Steve Double there. Uh,